Hello, my friends. Good evening. I know you are ready. Charlie told me that he's ready with his song, right, Charlie? So yeah. in a moment, so later, we're going to, to see what are Charlie's likes, okay? Well, so that's good. Okay, thank you, Charlie, for writing your name. Gracias por escribir, Carlos. Pero te vamos yeah. a llamar, Charlie. It's okay, right? No problem. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. That's good. How are you doing, Charlie? How was your day? Uh, very, very complicated. I, very complicated. Complicated and I... I have to move. Ah, okay, yes. Uh, yeah. That's tiring, it is not easy, I know. Yes, yes, but what's, what's very fun. Okay, very good. So I wish you have good luck, uh, Charlie. So let's continue, go ahead, good. And Carito, good evening. Hello, my dear friend. Good evening, teacher. Mm -hmm. How's your mood? ¿Cómo está eso ánimo? Good. Good, Relax. really? Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. And your day, a normal day? Yes, normal day. Oh, well, that, that, that's fine. Okay, Carito, anything new? Something new? Surprises? No surprises? Yes. No, um, I, uh -huh. uh, mid, mid time se dice, ¿verdad? Yeah, tiempo? Yep, yeah, mid time. Ok, mid time eh, lo ocupé para dormir. Ah, I slept during mid time. Uh, yes, uh, congratulations, and that's a good practice. But remember, we need snap. Necesitamos siestas. Snap uh, are, are really uh, important. Sometimes we need to sleep like 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and we are new, okay? So oh, four it. hours. Oh, okay, four <laughs> hours, okay, four hours. It's a lot of time, but uh, yes. have you noticed that some, some weekends are very rushed? Como que están bien, bien, son agitados, and we don't rest because we are busy on Saturday and Sunday. So it is good to have four hour nap, okay? Esa siesta estuvo. Mm. Very nice. Congratulations, Carito. And Thank you. Good. We have the chicken girl, Andreita. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. You look good with green and eh, with green, with yellow. Thank you. Yeah, uh, that, that's a good color for you. Okay, Andreita, tell me, uh, how was your day? Everything okay? Everything okay. Uh, a half, a relaxed, relaxed. Day. Okay, I relax the day. Okay, uh, that's good because some other days, especially on Fridays, you have a lot, a lot of work, right? Yeah, you have yeah. told me that that you have a lot of things to do, and sometimes even you finish your work late, and the yeah. traffic and all those. Things. Okay, so that's fine. Good, Andreita. Nice to hear you, Maritza. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Yeah. How was your day? How are you? How was your day? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, the, this day is very hot in uh, Santa Ana, really? in San uh, Salvador, no? Mm, I don't know. Uh, where do you live? Remind me, please. Santa Ana. Ah, Santa Ana. So in Santa Ana, mm -hmm. it's getting hot. This day? Yes. Oh, this day, okay. Yesterday was very uh, more or less. More or less thing? warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Calido. Mm -hmm. But not hot. Today was hotter. Nice. Okay. But normally, how is the weather in Santa Ana? Mm. It's cold. It's hot. It's or, it's or hot. Depends. It's hot. Ah, it's hot. Normally hot. Yes. I didn't know that. Wow. Oh, so Santa Ana mm. is kind of hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, perfect. It's, it's because the ya no hay finca, ¿cómo se dice? There are no forests, there are, there no, are forests. no forests, mm -hmm. there are no trees. Mm -hmm. Yes, and sometimes those, uh, those fields, esos campos, those fields are used for building houses 
or for planting yes. any other type of, of, of plants, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay, for farming, para agricultura. So that's why the, the, the place changes, okay? The weather changes. Okay, thank you, Maritza. I didn't know. That's a new information for me. That's new. Okay, thank you, Maritza. Damari, good evening. How are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good, good, good evening. Good, good night. <laughs> no, good night when we say goodbye. Okay. Good, good evening. evening. I know that you want to want uh, you want you want to sleep, but not relax. Okay. So, Damari, tell me how uh, how was your day? Normal day. My day was uh, good. Was good. Okay. And um, during this year, did you have problems with the parents? Did you have some difficulties with the fathers and mothers? No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, everything nice. Yeah. Well, I did. There are some students that they're very special. And usually, parents don't know their kids. No conocen a sus niños completely. Because at home, they behave, ellos se comportan, they behave in one way, but at school, they are different. Okay. So that's it. But okay, I like to hear that you are okay, Damari. Very nice. Very good. Okay, Carmencita, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Tell me, any surprise for today? Mm, or normal no, day? normal day. Normal day, okay. Tomorrow is Friday. Remember Fridays. <laughs> I know some of you like Fridays, I'm some others say. Uh, sorry? I'm very happy. You are very happy because tomorrow is Friday. Because, or because... tomorrow is Friday. Oh, okay. yes, that's it. <laughs> Believe it or not, there are some people that they say, ah, oh, Friday, but Friday for me is a normal day or Saturday, right? I love Saturdays a lot. But some of you say, mm, teacher, but Saturdays for me are normal days. Okay, so mm, it depends, okay? But that's nice that Carmen is happy because tomorrow is Friday. Yes, teacher. Good. You can go to eat pupusas. Two planet de renderos. Okay, fine. Good, thank you. Good, that, that's the attitude. See, can you see, Carita? Okay, Marlon, good evening. Good evening. Okay, how are how are you doing? How was your day? Normal day? I'm fine. Uh, oh. Yeah, normal day. Uh, Similar to easy. yesterday? Uh, no, no, no. I, <laughs> um, in fact, I was in La Unión today. Ah, very hot place, right? Yes, yes, and and it's a a, a place very far. Yeah, very far. Uh, how much time did you did it take to drive? Three hours? Uh, four hours. Four, four, four hours. hours. Did yes. you drive? Uh, I drive. Uh, I drove. Only, uh, of, uh, excuse me. I I no drove. Uh, when when we was uh, coming ah coming returning, back. returning 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 coming back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, when we was going uh, my partner was driving was driving okay but you returning okay that's fine but it is tiring cansado it's heavy yes hard. yes it's oh. it's very very hard to drive for yes. hours continuous and also depends on the type of the car. Because there of are course. some cars, and but there are some others that they are more comfortable, some are comfortable, so that that yes, we we were in a comfortable car. Okay, that's fine. Okay, very good. Parecía narco, Marlo. Okay, well, good. No <laughs> problem. Man. So nice. You're most uniformados. <laughs> uh -huh, okay, yeah, better <laughs> with glasses. Okay, uh, believe it or not, driving is very hard, especially when you ride motorcycles, right, Andreita? Imagine drive one hour, two hours. Charlie, do, do you ride mo motorcycle? Yes, uh, I I drove to La Unión two wow. times. Two times. It's really very heavy. Drive try to far, far away. Yeah, far, far away. Charlie, uh, were you with some other friends or you alone? With my friends. Yeah, because there are some uh, bikers that they have clubs, right? They belong oh, yes. to different clubs. So do you belong to uh, any motorcycle club? 
Uh, yes, uh, the name is God's Biker. I know that. Yes, yes. They are kind of famous. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, very nice. With them. Okay, but that's good because there, there are no accidents. They are very careful. So, bien cuidadosos, right? They're very yes, careful. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Nice, nice, Charlie. Thank you for telling me. Andreita, uh, are you interested to join any club, motorcycle club? No. Está mm, interesada? Eh. Are you interested to join en unirte? Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. And maybe, it depends. My brothers are part of a motorcycle club. And it is good because they go and they say, van a rodar. They go to, to ride, right? And very, they, told, they tell me that they have like a very nice adventures, good experiences. They, they know a lot of places, conocen muchos lugares, right? So that's one of the advantages. Okay, good. And here we have also Beatriz. I know you are busy, just relax. When you are ready to participate, let me know, okay? And here we have Edgar. Hello, okay, Edgar. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Beatriz. Edgar. Hello. Hey, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Good? Uh, good, teacher. Okay, fine. Anything new for today? Normal day? No, no problem. Nothing. Okay, very nice. Good. Thank you. And Dianita, are you okay, Dianita, over there? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Very nice picture. I like that photograph. Mm, thank you. <laughs> okay. Everything okay today, Janita? Yes. Mm, oh. I work half oh. time. Uh, así sería. Yes, yes. Half time. That's good. So you were free in the afternoon. Yes. Yeah, perfect. What did you do? <laughs> um, I read. Rest. Ah, rest. Okay, very nice. Similar to Carito. Carito slept four hours. Esta mujer durmió como que era vampiro. Four <laughs> hours. Ah, come on. Okay. It's but great. that's good. Yes, it's healthy. Okay, thank you, Danita. And Kevin. Hello, my friend. Okay, I guess Kevin is connecting. No, um, teacher. Hello. Hello, everything okay, Kevin? Yes, pero no sé qué, qué pasó con la aplicación que de nada se dejó de escuchar. Okay, uh, maybe are you having problems with the internet or um, the app? Yo creo que es la app. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, yesterday we had some difficulties with Andrea, right, Andreita? So she had to restart it. ¿Lo reiniciaste, Andreita? No. Solo lo esperé y él solito se arregló. Oh, ok. Espero. Así es. Sometimes we have to wait. So, a veces solo hay que esperar un poquito. Patience, ok. We're going to start with Kent for information possibility. I know that you know this topic, but I have a new topic for you. Sé que ya conocen este tema, pero tengo otro temita para ustedes que les puede interesar. Ok. So, uh, can for uh, Kent, can you? Can for information and possibility. Can, dicen los ingleses. Okay. So we want, you already know how to use can. Okay. Uh, but uh, we can have some different, what, uh, sentences, situations. And in, I'm going to start with how tall are you? I don't know uh, how tall are you if you are very, uh, you are short, tall. I'm not going to ask your weight. No, but no, no le voy a preguntar sobre su peso. Relax, okay? No problem. I know that that's not important, right? That's not important. But uh, tell me, how tall are you? You can say I am, or you can say my height is. There are two forms to say it, okay? You can say I am uh, 175. I am 167. Or my height, height, is 155, it's just an example. Or you can say, I am 1.75, yeah. well, whatever. Because uh, as you are responding to how tall are you? Entonces se sobreentiende. Also, you can say, I am 1.75 centimeters, but it is not necessary. We don't say even in Spanish, no, no decimos yo mido 1.80 centimeters. We don't say it, right? It sounds weird. But uh, if you want to be more explicit, you can 
you can say it, okay? So let's listen to Carmen Sira because I don't know you. I Hola, haven't seen you person. No los he visto en persona. <laughs> I guess all of you are taller than me. Creo que todos son más altos que yo. But anyway, okay, Carmen Sira, tell me. Okay, teacher. Uh, I'm uh, one at uh, 67. 167. Okay, sí. yes. You are kind of tall. Though are tall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, good. Very nice. Imagine with high heels, you are taller. Right? Así todos los días. <laughs> ah, va. De con tacones. Okay, perfect. So, uh, Carito, what about you? How tall are you? Con tacones o sin tacones? No, no, normal. Como Dios te creó. Uh, my height is... 169. 169, mm -hmm. that's okay. 69, yeah, you are not short. Okay, Charlie, tell me, you, and then Maritza. My height is 1.76. 76, really? Don't be inventing, please, don't invent. Okay, 176. No. Okay, yes. Okay, and I guess you look taller because you are thin. Te ve un poco delgado, eh, alto porque también sos delgado. So that, that uh, it's part of, of, of your height, believe it or not. Maritza and then Andreita. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher, I, what? I am short. short. Yes, oh. I am a 1.55. 55, okay, that's good. Remember, you are like the perfume, como los perfumes, entre más pequeños. <laughs> okay, the, the smaller, the better. Okay, good. Okay, um, ya voy a explicar eso ahorita, ya que me puedo acordar. Thank you. Ya le puedo explicar eso. Okay, Andreita, and then Damari. Uh, I am uh, 155. I am a minion. Because no, the color, you, color nah. yellow. No, yellow, that's a chicken, little, okay. Uh, really, 55, similar to Maritza, okay, but that's fine. Yes. The smaller, the better, as I told you, huh? Okay, aquí está la esencia, por eso más malías. Okay, Damari, and then Marlon. Okay, I am 1.58. Uh, <laughs> Ah, 58. Okay, three more. Three yes. letters more. Okay. Uno cincuenta y ocho. Así es. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. 58. Okay, okay. good. Very good, Amari. Marlon and Dianita. Uh, I am on 175. Yeah, okay, you are kind of tall, Marlon. Okay. Okay, good. Dianita and Edgar. I am one. Point fifty eight. Fifty, I similar to the Mari. Aún entras en la categoría de de maldad, Danita. The okay. minion. No maldad. I didn't say minion. Andrea said, no. Come on, uh, Edgar. Okay, Edgar. Uh, how tall are you? And then Kevin. Uh, I am one point sixty nine. Okay, almost one point seventy. Almost. Okay. Thank you. And Kevin. Teacher, eh, tengo una duda, disculpe, cuando dicen yeah. point, ¿a qué se refiere? Ah, 1.75 y todo eso, aunque puedes decir 1.75, 175, yeah, you can say it. Normally, normally it's 167, 155, okay, because you understand it, tú lo entiendes, okay. Okay, I am um, 175. One. Mm -hmm. 175. Okay. Similar to Marlon. Okay. Perfect. Kevin. Okay. Now, uh, something, it's I don't a, know what. Yes. And you? I'm, I'm, I'm part of Minions Club. Believe it or not, no. I am 166. Uh, 60, yeah, very short. I don't know why. It's a punishment, un castigo de, por ser honesto. Por malvado. No, for being honest. Porque... 
La maldad, la maldad. Cada vez que me han traicionado, eh, me he hecho más pequeño un, un centímetro. So, can you imagine? Antes media más. Ok. Ok, I don't know why people who are smaller, they are, they are, what? How can I say it? They usually give orders. Not, not uh, always, but usually I have seen, no, Marita, relax, relax. I'm talking about couples. Estoy hablando de las parejas. I'm not saying that that, that, that is what well, that happens every time. No, but my friends, some of my friends are very tall and their girlfriends are very small and their girlfriends give them, uh, well, give them orders. Les pasan ordenando cosas and they're very obedient. But I know some other cases. Okay. So maybe Andrea is... Cosa seria de Anita, Maritza, yes. You are very mandonas. Okay. Ah, pues Carito y yo somos sumisas. No, no, ajá, ajá, cabal, Carmen. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to explain this. Creo que entramos en esa categoría. Ajá, ajá, no, no, para. <laughs> no, no. Okay, I'm going to ask to some of, of the, of these guys. Marlon, Kevin, Edgar. Charlie, who do you believe of these girls are like the big boss? ¿Quiénes son como la, 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 de las chicas que tenemos acá que son como bien mandonas, como jefes, como así, big boss? ¿Han oído la frase calladito? No se ve uno más bonito. Ah, no, come on, Charlie, come on. La vida Relax. le ha dado sabiduría al compañero. No, no, no. como no. usted. Let's, let's, let's compare. <laughs> Okay, uh, Kevin, tell me, who do you think is the big boss in the house? Yeah, yeah, from this group, of course. I'm not talking about your ex or whoever. No, we're talking about this group. Okay, Carmen, or oh, maybe, maybe, let's see, let's compare. Okay, Marlon, and then Edgar. Um, no, come on, just an opinion. <laughs> uh, we're not saying that that's bad. That's that is not bad. That's a good because they are leaders. But we're talking about. Eh, sí. <laughs> Yo sí veo como que es ahí bastante tiene bastante liderazgo. <laughs> Oye, Andrea, liderazgo. <laughs> Le veo a Andrea como que tiene mucho liderazgo. ¿eh? Andreita, leadership. No, okay. Yo dije liderazgo. No dije oh, yeah, va, liderazgo. You are leader. <ríe> ok, vamos a cambiarle. No, vamos a decir big boss. Vamos a ser leader. Ok, good. Carmen y Andreita, leaders. Ok, Edgar, your turn. Ok. Uh, the, the, better, the better is the better uh, no say it. No, come on. I know it is good to not say it, but let, it's part of the show. Okay. Um, my opinion, maybe Diana. Dianita. Mm -hmm. okay. um, ah, it's a surprise. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Okay. And let's say, Charlie, you have one, one option for leaders. <laughs> Así ya cambia. Ya con Ajá. líder, ya Ok, líder. Ajá. Uh, I suppose maybe Carmen. Oh, Carmen, you are the leader. Ok. <laughs> Vote for me. Voten por mí. Ok. Uh, so here we have Carmen, the leader, the big leader. Ok, that's nice. La Carmencita es, como dicen, sumisa. Ok. Shy. Dios, teacher. Shy. Fan de... <laughs> Ok, eh, I'm going to explain this. We have some phrases. A veces tenemos frases que decimos entre más rápido, mejor. Entre what? Uh, we have some comparison. Utilizamos, ¿han escuchado esas frases? Eh, entre más barato, mejor. Ok. Eh, así que siempre vamos a utilizar the better. We are using comparatives. The smaller, the better. ¿Cómo rápido se dice? How do you say rápido? 
Quickly? Quickly. Fast. Okay, we can say quickly, but we, we're going to apply fast. Okay, now the comparison. Hurry up. Hurry up. Almost. Uh, but hurry up, it's a command. Eso es un comando. Ah, Damari, me saliste mandoncita. ¿Desde cuándo está apurando a la gente? Mira. Okay, pero eso es como apúrate, but fast es rápido, but the comparative of fast, ¿cuál es el comparativo de fast? Faster. Yes. Entonces, the faster, the better. Entre más rápido, mejor. A eso se refiere esta frase. Entre más rápido, no vamos a poner aquí between <laughs> o enter, no. The faster, the better significa entre más rápido, mejor. Barato. How do you say barato? Mm -hmm. Chip. Chip. Chippy. Chippy is my... Is, <laughs> no, Chippy no. <laughs> is the husband of one melcocha. What, my neighbor. Yeah. Okay. La melcocha, mi vecina. Okay. But we're talking about, we're talking about this. Don't you remember? I told you the last course. Okay, so cheap is barato. What's the comparative of cheap? La vecina cercana del teacher. No, they are not son cercanas, Carmencita. No, I didn't say that. Okay. Uh -huh, leader. Uh -huh. What's so cheap? Expensive. No, expensive is the opposite. It's cheaper. Es caro. Uh -huh. El comparativo es cheaper. Cheaper. Entre más barato, mejor. Ok. ¿Es it clear this idea? ¿Está clara esta idea? Entre más rápido, mejor. Entre más barato, mejor. Entre más calladito, mejor. A lot of things. Ok. So that's a common phrase. Common phrase that uh, came to my mind because of Maritza's opinion. Ok. So uh, now a question. Have you received inheritance? Have you received inheritance and received herencia? Just tell me yes or not. Don't uh, go into detail. Don't say what. So say yes or no. It can be a car. It can be a house. It can be a dog. <laughs> Puede ser un chichito. I don't know. Whatever. So have you received inheritance and received herencia from any type? Okay. It can be an instrument. I don't know. In my case, I have received a cassette and a, a long, long play disc. Un LP. Esa fue mi herencia de Led Zeppelin, ahí lo tengo todavía. So, part, part of the inheritance. Ok, Andreita, you and then Charlie, yes or no? No. I'm sure. Well, maybe in the future. Charlie and Damari. Uh, yes. Ok, very nice. Damari, Marlon. No, desheredada. <laughs> no yet, but maybe in the future, of course. Eh, no yet. A saber no que sí se va. What did you do? Okay, Marlon, Kevin. No, I haven't. No, okay. Maybe in the future. Kevin, Carito. No, tal vez en la otra vida. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, Kevin, no, either. No. Okay, uh, Carito, Diana. Mm, okay. I, know, I don't know what ready to receive. Sorry, sorry. You don't want, no quieres? No. Mm, okay, fine. The Anita and the leader. No. No. Never. Leader. Hmm? Carmencita, come on. <laughs> uh, yes, but share with many other people. Okay, that's different. When you yes. have to share, split, partir, de, de mm. dividir. Hasta ahorita nada. Ok, so no keep, se ha hecho. keep on waiting. Es, es for a periquet. Ok. <laughs> ok, ok. But let's wait maybe in the near future. You can have solved that. Ok. Um, Edgar. And after Edgar, um, Maritza. Yes, I received. Ok, very nice. And Maritza. Yes. Ok, good. So remember, inheritance, a lot of people associate this to house, to uh, lands, tierras, okay, cars, but no, inheritance can be different things, okay? Even money, but it can be some other properties, propiedades, or objects, yeah. So that's it. Um, useful phrases, but 
for these useful, useful phrases, first, I'm going to check the attendance list. Ya pasó 34 minutos, mire qué rápido el tiempo. Okay, so Anna Mercedes, Mercy is not here. Andreita, hello. Hi. Hi there. Um, Charlie. Here. Good, Carmen. Present. Present, Claudia. No, Carolina, Carito. Present. Yes, Maritza. Present. Good, Janita. It's me. It's you. Eden Nilsson, not Eden Nilsson. Edgar. Present. Good. Elsa. No. Tamari. Present. Good. Helen, not yet. Kevin. Present teacher. Good one. No, Manuel. Marlon. Present. Thank you. No, Susie. Mm. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Aha, Susie. You rest in the afternoon, right? You rested. You have free. You Come free on, teacher. No, Come on, no, no. you. I don't know where you go. Mm. Okay, Susie. Jasmine, no. And Beatriz, I know Beatriz is over there, but she's working. She told me that she was um, present. Okay, thank you, Beatriz. Okay, useful phrases. It can wait. Eso puede, esto puede esperar o eso puede esperar, but you can say it can't. It can't, también lo pueden decir, esto no puede esperar, no puede esperar. Or you can say, I can't wait, or I can't wait, okay? Uh, it could have been worse. It was quite a job. It's no go. Es como que eso no va, eso como no tiene caso. Bien raro, it's, it's no go. It's a matter of time, just about, just now. Yes. Uh -huh. Y ese matter eh, también puede ser importar, ¿no? Yes, yes, yes. Matter significa problema, eh, significa cuestión o significa importar. Pero si te das cuenta, problema y cuestión son sustantivos. They are, they are nouns. But matter is a verb, es un verbo. There is a song from Metallica, nothing else matters, ¿verdad? Nada más importa, nothing else matters. Eh, cuando, cuando decimos, when we say it's a matter of time, uh -huh, es cuestión de tiempo, o what's the matter, cuál es el problema, cuál es la cuestión, ok, so matter can say, eh, can be cuestión, problema, importar, three meanings, tiene tres significados, ok, Damari, ok, fine, just about, just now, just, no just, 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 como justin, como justice, ok, just about, just now, no one's place, uh -huh. Uh, no somebody's somebody by sight by sight a vista uh, let's clear it up let's clear it up la it puede ser pronunciado como r no r r let's clear it up or oh, let's clear it up okay i need you i need you to pick one of this and say it maritza and then marlon it can wait good marlon susi um, let's clear it up. Go, Susi Damari. It's no go. Go, Damari, Kevin. Just about. Go, Kevin, Carito. Just now. Go, Carito, Diana. It's so hard being hard. Mm -hmm. mm, Dianita, Edgar. It's a matter of time. Good. Uh, uh, Edgar, and after Edgar, we're having Charlie. It's no go. Okay. Charlie, Andrea. It was kid, uh, job. Mm -hmm. quite. Mm -hmm. It was a job. Quite. It was a quite job. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Andrea, Carmen. Just about. Just about. Carmen. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Okay. So here we have, and um, no problem with these phrases. They are so common. So remember that these phrases or the vocabulary that I give you at the beginning of the class is for you to take notes, or maybe uh, if you find a good phrase, you can take notes and use it in a conversation in the future. Okay. That's the reason why I give you useful phrases or new vocabulary. Okay, 
here we have this. Remember, we were talking about quantities uh, in here, but in this case, here we have features of the product. Weight, que es el peso, que no se los he preguntado, ni se lo voy a preguntar, no, just relax. Dimension and quantity. We have tablets, television, refrigerators. G is gram, gramos. CM is centimeters, centimeters, okay? And these libras se dice pounds. Se lo voy a escribir. Pounds se dice libra. Um, grams. Centimeter. In significa pulgadas. Inches. Inches. Como decir pinches, pero sin la P. Inches. Okay, so that's it. I need you to say um, one of these, one of these um, quantities, for example, um, tablet, you can say tablet weight, um, 170 grams, okay? A tablet dimension, 19.3 centimeters by, el por se dice by, así, by by 13.7 centimeters, by 1.03 centimeters, okay? So I need you to help me. Dianita is going to start. Pick one of these, whatever, okay? Telev you, you say television and say quantity or weight or dimension or refrigerators. Okay. Television um, is quantified. Quantity. 100. Quantity. Quantity. Mm -hmm. Ah, es cierto. Quantity. 100. 100. That's it. So it's la cantidad. Good. Thank you. Okay, we go now with Carmen and then Charlie. Refrigerator. Quantity 15. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Refrigerator. Good. Charlie and then Kevin. Tablets. Uh, uh, wait. It's 100 Se me apagó. 170 grams. 170 grams. Mm -hmm. 70 grams. Okay, thank you. Okay, Andrea and Susie. Tablet quantity 200. Mm -hmm. Okay. Susie, ya ven, bueno, está bien, Andreita, good done. Susie and Damari. Mm, television, weight uh, 112, that uh, 43 pounds. Uh, pounds. Mm -hmm. pounds. En este caso sí vamos a decir point, oye Susie. Point, that ah, ok. That solo va a ser, it's for emails, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, um, ya que están acá. Dot es para correo electrónicos. Point es para cantidades. Y period es para puntos. Punto final, puntos suspensivos, period, period. Ok, curioso. Tres formas de decir punto. Dot, point, and period. Ok, so that's it. And who's next, who's next? Uh, Marlon, help me. And then Damari. Of course, and the tablet, uh, the dimension tablets. Okay. Uh, Nineteen point three centimeters. Uh, it is area four of. Oh, by. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, by uh, thirteen point seven centimeters by one point uh, oh, 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 three. Oh, yes. Zero, yes. Three. Oh, three. Or, or zero. Uh, centimeters. Perfect. Marlon, that's it. Okay, who's next? Charlie, right? Charlie and, and oh no, Damari, dije. Calladita estaba Damari. Okay, uh, television, dimension. 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 Mm -hmm. 41.3 inches, inches. Yes, como pinches. Uh, by so 26.7 inches. Thank you, that's fine. Okay, uh, Maritza, and we're finishing with Carito. 
Okay. Refriger refrigerator. Mm -hmm. uh, wait. Um, 340 pounds. Perfect. And um, pleca, ¿cómo se dice? Mm -hmm. Ah, you can say. Hey, no, no digo, no lo menciono. It is not necessary. Mm -hmm. okay. But you can say slash. Uh, mm -hmm. That's slash okay. 380 pounds. Good, thank you. And the last one is going to be. Me. Yes, me. Re refrigeration. Uh, refrigeration dimension. Uh, 48. Y esto, ¿cómo se dice? Mm -hmm. Wine, uh, one over eight. Over eight, okay. Mm -hmm. Inches. Okay, dimension. Uh, uh, 48. 48. One over eight. Or eight. Okay, inches. Siempre se pulgada. Okay, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Five syllables. Cinco sílabas. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Y falta les. Okay. Thank you. Very good. So uh, we are continue. Can one person store all the televisions to oneself? Okay. Where can you store uh, 50 refrigerators? Can you store the tablets on shelves? I guess these uh, answers are uh, is well, just yes or no, okay? But let's see. Um, what do you think, Marlon? Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Puede ordenarlas? One person. Uh, I think uh, first, you have to know the quantity. Yes. <laughs> because all the televisions, we are talking about every, in every the world. one television in the world. But <laughs> I think if we are talking about 15, 50 uh, televisions, televisions. Uh, yes, one person can store uh, uh, oneself, but uh, maybe in three days. <laughs> maybe <laughs> that's it. Okay, let's see. Uh, Here we have 100 televisions. Of course. Let, let, let's say I, how much or how many days? One week? I think I think in, in five days we can we can yeah, store in five days. One person can can store. Yeah, 100 it is hard. It is not easy, and you have to be careful. Okay, so of that's course. it. Okay, you're not going to be throwing. Okay, thank you, thank you, Charlie. Where can you store fifty refrigerators? Well, I guess, ¿dónde puede guardar 50 refrigeradoras? Definitely not at home. Warehouse? Yes, in a warehouse. No way. Perfect. Okay, and let's see. Andreita, can you store the tablets on shelves? I think no. No, not necessarily. Maybe they can be stored in boxes, maybe, in cajas or something yeah. like that, because uh, they are very... Uh, fragile, they're fragile. Okay, thank you. In your opinion, is inheritance mandatory in families? Es obligatorio her la herencia en las familias? In your opinion, okay. For example, money, house, lands, properties, uh, dogs, or, or no, whatever. Maybe you can give your opinion related to one topic. Maybe it is not mandatory, or maybe, yes, it is mandatory in your opinion. Let's listen to Susie. Susie, are you ready? Teacher, I need more time. Please. You need, come on, come on, Susie, come on, Susie. Ha sido un día difícil. Okay, no problem. Let's listen to, me gusta cuando voy a preguntar porque si ven para otro lado, eso me llega a ver. Okay, Maritza, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Eso pero me gusta. In my opinion, it's not mandatory. It's because mad. that only that? No. No. Uh -huh. okay. Why? What do you think? Uh, is... For me, the the, the parents. Mm -hmm. uh, the responsibility of the parents is to give love and educate their children. Their and health, best, and health is salud, right? Yes, uh, their best in, in health. 
inheritance, ¿cómo se dice? Inheritance. Inheritance. Is to teach, teach them the, to live, to work. Um, mm -hmm. That's above perfect. all, to teach them to obey and love God. Okay, that's a good example. What can how what can you teach? Okay, not necessarily material things. Okay, perfect. And what about if we listen to Damari? Que me está viendo para otro lado. Come on, teacher. Come on, come on. Se sube el payaso después de de, de hacerla reír. Pasa ahí y usted se ha dormido. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yes, teacher. Um, I think it's optional. Mm -hmm. uh, it is up. Uh, everybody. Uh, I know. Come on. <laughs> depends. Depends on the family. Depends. Right? Yes. In your case, do you agree? Is that the word of inheritance? It's optional. The. Um, the inheritance, 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 their, their position or no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Depends. Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay. It's optional. Thank you, Damari. Good. Uh, Carito, what about you? Ready? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is not mandatory. Because it's, it's cause of conflict and okay. family disunity. Okay, very good word, conflict, yes. Um, and you know why it causes conflict? Because parents uh, don't prepare kids for that moment. Maybe they give inheritance, they give uh, things like money, like, like properties, but Sometimes uh, parents divide, they split, ellos lo dividen, yes. But there are some problems or small problems that they didn't face in the past, but now they have it because they, everybody ha, has needs, pero todos ne tienen necesidad. And parents don't prepare kids for uh, that moment. So we need to be educated in different and to be conscious, okay? Oh, that's why we're going to talk about it later. Thank you, Carito. And for this, we go with Carmen Sira. Are you ready, Carmen? I'm ready, teacher. Go ahead, please. Uh, I think, uh, no, people can inherit to whoever they want. Not necessarily to family. Uh, they could have their uh, friends, foundation, uh, Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in your case, uh, do you agree? Is that the acuerdo? No, I agree. Yes. Yes. Okay, that, that, that's fine. Uh, I guess it is a good, a good option, a good aspect to give something to your kids, right? That's good. Yes. But yes. Uh, I guess it depends on the way you do it. And it is good to for parents to do it in advance, adelantarse, uh, como anticiparse, hacer. Yes. In, in this moment, in uh, the case of my little brother, mm -hmm. I have a problem. You have confusions. The, you have like, mm, what do new, we do? The new wife for your uh, yes. father. Uh, yes. Que hace poco murió de COVID. Un problem. Total. Yes, a, a, a big problem. And, and there is a big problem when there is no good communication, when where uh, if you don't have papers, if you don't have mm -hmm. legal documents, that's a, a big problem, right? Yes. And especially maybe you have your brothers and you can solve it, but uh, your brothers or your sisters, uh, they have husbands, wives, and now they are in the, in, in the same situation and they are asking for more or not. And well, that's a big problem. We're going to continue talking about it, but Carmen, that's something that happens to a lot of families here in El Salvador, right? Uh, right. Yes. And maybe in the past you didn't have that problem, but now you have this and it is complicated, right? I hope you can solve it, Carmen, and by legal way and according to everybody's opinion, but I know it's difficult. Yes, right? teacher. 
I know it's difficult. Yes, my family um, had that problem the, the last year, even this year we have kind of difficulties, but we're it's advancing. terrible. Terrible, really bad. Okay, so we're going to continue with a worksheet and here we have have got. Este es el tema que les había dicho, que tenía extra. Okay, have got, it's similar to say have. It's similar, it's the same. For example, you can say, I have a car. You can say, I have got a car or I have a, a dog. I have got a dog, okay? And you can say, you have, you have got a job. Es lo mismo, solo que se le agrega el got. Why do we use it? ¿Por qué lo usamos? Because this is part of the informal English. Es parte del inglés informal. Ustedes lo han visto así seguramente. Así ve. I've got, you've got, she's got. Así lo han visto. And mainly in songs, en canciones lo han visto. Okay? Or even in movies, in the dialogues, when they are having conversations, you say, okay, you've got to do it. Tú tienes que hacerlo. Como el flow de Susi. You've got to do it. Okay? So that's it. Um, but before this, just to explain you more. I have got, you have got, he has got. In negative, no vamos a utilizar I don't. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, I can say, I don't have a house. But in this case, I say, I haven't got a house. En este caso, la T, the, the T sounds like R. I have a, I've got a car. I've got a dog. I've got a girlfriend, I've got a, entonces, gotta, ese gotta es el flow que, a que Susi se refiere, ¿verdad, Susi? Entonces, eh, esto te hace sonar, eh, this makes you sound like more natural in English, ¿ok? I Teacher, have, yes? But, pero, ¿por qué no usamos el don't have eh, como en las veces anteriores? Se puede, yes, 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 you can do it, this is, just an option. Pero si, si agregamos el got, no. Exactly. That's it. Si utilizamos el got, no. Y se lo estoy explicando. I'm explaining this because you have seen this in movies and uh, different kind of, of uh, lyrics of songs. En canciones la han visto bastante. And ten tenemos acá. He has got. He hasn't got. She has got. She hasn't got. Okay, can you see? We have got. We haven't got. Ok, entonces esto, ¿qué significa tener? Similar to have. Ok, but you can say, teacher, why are you teaching this? ¿Por qué están enseñando eso? Ah, because this is part of English and it is good for you to know, to learn more. Ok, so when you see this, you, you can say, ah, the teacher also teaches us. Ok, nos enseña eso también y todo eso. Ok, le puede salvar la vida. No quieren. Ok, so here we have affirmative and we have negative, easy peasy. Okay, now we have the contractions. Vamos a las contracciones. Y eso es lo que más han visto ustedes. I have got, se dice I've got, I've got. Of, I've gotta, I've gotta. Ese gotta es el que le da el toque. You've, you have got, you've gotta. For example. Uh, you've got... A car. You've got a car. Okay. You've got. Y está otro más informal que es este. El gora, gora es en lugar del got to. Okay. You've got to work. You've got to do it. Tienes que hacerlo, but you've got to do it. So, in English, they don't use have. No, pocas veces utilizan el have para conversaciones reales. En, en las películas, you can see that in series and a lot of movies. You've got to do it. Okay? So, gotta. Es similar como decir... Mm, you're gonna work. Tú vas a trabajar. Gonna. Y el gotta sustituye, sustituyen el to. ¿Ok? Pero continuando con este, con el gap, hay una canción de Cinderella que se llama... Marlon y, y Andreita creo que se le usaron súper bien. Creo que la han dedicado.
Es bien famosa esta canción. Don't know what you got till it's gone. Uh -huh. Entonces significa, what is this, Marlon? Sí, che, pero gone no es solo con una N. Ah, yes, 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 gone, gone, gone. El pasado participio de, de go, went, gone, I'm sorry. Estaba con este gone, a ver, con ese estaba pensando, ajá, yes. No sabes lo que tienes, right? Hasta que se va. Hasta que se va. O hasta que, que se ha ido, algo así. Exacto. Yes, yes. That's it. So, uh, in the song, they don't say, don't know what you have. No, don't know what you've got. Mm -hmm. Así dice la canción. So, uh, this is uh, something that you're going to find in different movies, believe it or not. So, ya me quitó la que iba a decir ahí en la, el nombre de la canción. Esta. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry. Sí, hoy voy a tener que cambiar. I'm sorry, no, I'm mentiras. sorry. Oh, no. Okay, well, you have a lot of songs. That you, you can teach us. Okay, so you have got, you've Teacher, got. Yes? Este uh, got no lo podemos utilizar en una conversación formal, o sea, solo es para informal. Uh, yes, it's for informal. But you can have your boss, and, but if you have like, like a friendship with your boss, you can say it. Okay, but in, imagine you are in an interview the first day in, in, at work. You're not going to say, uh, in, we're, you're not going to use informal language. For example, in, in your first day of work, you're not going to say, ¿Qué ondas? ¿Qué hay? No, you say, buenos días. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Eh, but in, the, in a few months, in a few weeks, ya eso se llega haciendo relajo. But in the first day, you have to be very formal, right, Susie? So that's the difference. Teacher, pero es que yo no tengo algo claro, vaya. Este, porque, ¿Cuál es la diferencia de este con el otro? O sea, aparte del got, ¿qué, ¿qué tiene que ver el got ahí? Si podemos solo decir, I have a car, I have a, you a have, dog. You can do it, definitely. Claro que lo pueden hacer. This is an option. Eso es una opción. Y, and I am teaching this y les estoy enseñando porque se lo han encontrado en películas, series, canciones. Para que tengan una idea qué significa. Eso, eh, this doesn't mean that you're going to use it. No quiere decir que lo van a utilizar, pero en algún momento de su vida van a ver esto. De hecho, en unas conversaciones más adelante lo, lo vamos a ver. ¿Ok? Aplicado. Entonces, para que ustedes ya tengan una idea, ¿qué significa? ¿Ok? So, that's, uh, that, that's the objective, Susie. Relax. You can say have, as, go, as always. Relax. Pero si solo estamos con temas básicos, así como habíamos estado, como que... Mm, right? Ok. So, he has got his gut. Oh, he's got a, he's got a, he's got, uh, she has got, she, uh, she's got, it has got, it's got, we have got, we've got, they have got, they've got. I need you to pronounce this. Okay, pick one of these. I need you to pronounce um, whatever, normal or constructions. We're going to start with Andrea and then Carmen. Okay, Andreita, pick one. They've got. Good, Carmen, Charlie. We have got. Good. Charlie, Kevin. It's a good. Good, Kevin, Susie. You have got. Good, Susie, Maritza. I've got. Good, Maritza, Damari. They've got. Good, Damari, Marlon. You've got. Good, Damari. Eh, Marlon, querido. Eh, she's got. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Carito Diana. He's got. Okay. Diana Edgar. She's got a. No, oh, good. Edgar. I got a. Okay, perfect. Entonces, si se dan cuenta que eso le da otro toque ya a su inglés. So, that's the key. Esa es la, la clave del éxito. Okay. Now, here we have have got or has got. We're going to use whatever this, okay? Si lo quieren decir en, en, con, en contracción, no problem, okay? Um, so, have got or has got, short form. Put in have got or has got, okay? So I need you to select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Relax because you, I have more sentences, but... Uh, let's see. We're going to start with Dianita. Diana and Carito. Number four. Mm -hmm. No, three is. Three. 
Uh, he's got a watch. Good. Carito Carmen. Number one, I have got a pet. Good. Uh, Carmen, Andrea. Uh, number when is I <laughs> no sé qué número es. I, uh, this one. Uh, I, el, sí, ese. I have got three friends. Good. Who's next? Andrea, right? Yes. Andrea she, and, and Susie. Mm -hmm. She's uh, got, got a cat. Got uh, cats. She's got a cat. Yes, but she's got cats. Perfect. Uh, Susie, and then we go with Damari. Get a little relaxed. No, number is, but Dave got a garden. Yes. Uh, Damari, Charlie. We have got a mobile. Okay, yes. Charlie Marlon. Michelle, she has got a, a computer. Computer, okay. Michelle has got, in lugar de she. Michelle has oh. got. Okay, good. Uh, Marlon, right? Marlon, and then yes. we go with Kevin. Mm -hmm. um, number two, you have got a brother. Perfect. Kevin and um, after Kevin Maritza. You have got a new bag. Yes. Okay. Maritza. It has got a big kitchen. Yes. Good. And the last one again is going to be for Danita. We. Danita. We. We um, got a new football. Okay, perfect. That's fine. Okay, we continue. Thank you. In your opinion, is heritage mandatory in families? Um, yes or no? Marlo, you start, my friend. I want, well, we want to hear your opinion about <clears throat> this. Do you agree or not? Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, I think it, it isn't mandatory. Uh, or in my opinion, don't have to be mandatory. Okay. Um, because uh, we we don't know how how our, our parents uh, has been living uh, while we are uh, kids, mm -hmm. and uh, we don't know if they had good times, if they had bad times, if they had money or not, or the sacrifice, so, right? Yes. So uh, we we cannot uh, think in do it mandatory, oh, and yes. I think I think it's it's an, an option. Like my partners was saying, it's an option, and I think in my personal opinion, if my parents can give me an inheritance, uh, it, it is welcome to me. But if they can't. Uh, it, it doesn't matter to me. I feel happy with my mother and my father. And I don't think a, a herit an inheritance uh, is important. Yes, it is not an obligation, right? It is not an, an obligation. I, I, am, I, am an, I, I am adult. I am a hard worker. I think we have to be responsible. If, if we have or or, or, or don't have uh, children, uh, we have to be responsible. And I think uh, if we can to our children, we can do something for giving an inheritance. Yes, if we for can. the future. Mm -hmm. For the future, if we can. But if we can't, uh, we have to be a good parent. And like uh, Maritza said, I think, and we have to teach them to how to live, how to work, and how to be in a good person. And that's yes. my opinion. Perfect. Very good opinion, Marlon. That's nice. Uh, I guess it is. We, as, as parents, we have obligations, but not related to an inheritance, but related to health, food, uh, education, values, valores, and all those things that are more important. But if we have inheritance well why not right okay. thank you right charlie are you ready for uh, giving your opinion 
No, 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 ya... no this mandatory. In my it opinion. Is, it is not mandatory, okay. Uh -huh. Anything else you want to add? Algo más que quisieras agregar? Uh, maybe an experience or do you think to, to give inheritance to your kids in the future or you're not, you're not having plans? If I can, uh, me gustaría for my daughter. I'd like. Because, because I not can, no problem. Okay, if you can't, no problem. Okay, depends, right? Depends. Oh. If I teach at my, uh, at my daughter, uh, not is important. Okay, yes, it is not so important. It's not an obligation. But okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, and we go now with um, the Anita, are you ready? In my opinion, it's not uh, mandatory in families. It's mm -hmm. depending the case. Mm -hmm. Depending on the case, okay? And if the, you have one kid or two kids, it is easy, or three kids. But if you have five kids, seven kids, and if you give, like we were talking with uh, Carmen, right? I don't know, Carmen, how many siblings? How, how many brothers and sisters are you? Two brothers, teacher. Two and you. And, and me. And even with three, uh, the, you have differences, right? Uh, those, uh, de la misma más o menos. Y un ah, chico, okay. Y you have chico. step brothers and step sisters, hermanastros, hermanastras. Uh, mi hermano, no sé cómo se dice, medio hermano, mi hermano chiquito. Yes, the brother is my hermano. Ajá. O sea, sí. hermanastro de tu pero mamá, es que pero no de tu papá. De mi mamá, pero no de mi papá, sí. Ajá, como que son entre lenguas. Yes, so it's your step brother. Yes. Okay. Okay, so, the, ah, well, that's a different case. Es un caso diferente. Bueno, no soy abogado, no le voy a resolver el pobre carnicita. Vamos a ver. Okay, so we continue with Ken. This is a very simple topic. Um, we have WH questions. Tenemos esto que es la, la palabrita con WH. Where or when? Where uh, can you stock uh, all the new products? Where and when? Or here we have for information and here we have for possibility. Tenemos también aquí can para posibilidad. Can you stock all the new products? Okay. Entonces es fácil. Miren, simplemente uh, in the simple way. You can just, solo agregan esto. ¿eh? Este can es igual que esto. ¿eh? Literalmente. But if you add this, pero si agregan esto, pues ya es una, it's an open question. Es una pregunta abierta. As you already know this topic, here we have this. Read the following statements to write a question about it. Okay, here we have the answer. So we need to create the question. Just in this case, we're going to start with Susie, que me pidió tiempo hace rato. Vamos a ver, Susie. Teacher, sí, come on. Okay. Teacher, come on. <laughs> Number one, eh, mm -hmm. eh, 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 can you start, eh, sería them, teacher, siempre. Eh, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Can you start the Tele te Television, television. The new program, okay, okay. Can you store television in the back room? Ok, very good. Entonces está preguntando, ¿puedes guardar las televisiones en el cuarto trasero? But, 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 la respuesta no es yes or no. Look. Uh, um, entonces sería where. Yeah. Ok. Mm -hmm. where, where, where can you, where can you store uh, television in the back room? Así, no, where can you store the uh, store televisions? Hasta ahí. Okay, okay. And then uh, you can store them in the back room. Mm -hmm. Okay. O puedes decir, where can I? Si vas cargando, Teacher, where can I store? Pero creo que me equivoqué porque sería entonces, where can I? Mm -hmm. you, imagine, imagine you are carrying mm -hmm. the, the, the television. Where can I store the, the TVs or the new product? 
Ah, you can, te dice ahí, eh, Andreita, you can start them in, in the background. Y sigue comiendo Andreita. Okay, so that's it. And here we go now with Damari and then Carmen. Pick one. Mm, number two. Okay. Yes. Can you, can she sign? Sign. Can, can she sign the form? Yes, she can. She can sign the form. Sign es cantar. Sign es señal o firmar. Good. Okay, next is Carmen, right? Carmen and, yeah. then, and then Kevin. Okay, number three. Mm -hmm. Can they move the television along? Okay, can. Can. Carmen, si te estoy dando señales. Can we, can yes. we move? Ajá. Uh -huh. The television? <laughs> yes. No, <laughs> we can't. We can't move all the, the television. Okay, Kevin, and then we go with Maritza. Okay. Where can they pile up the box tomorrow? Mm, where or when? Where. Okay. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow is? Mañana. Ajá. Where es donde? When es cuando? Ajá. Sería when. Yes. When? When can they pile up the box? Yes. That's it. Easy peasy. Okay. Uh, Maritza and then Andrea. Um, number five. Mm -hmm. um, Similar to number three. No, you... similar to number one, I'm sorry. Okay. Where can you, where can you store the 19? Cars? Yes, perfect. Ah, you can store the 90 cars in a warehouse. And Andreita, number six. Can you give your information of the product? Can you give? Mm. Mm. Can, can you... you give my? No. No, no ese corazoncito está raro, Andreita. No, sí, está loco. You... Sí, yeah, well, okay. <laughs> Can you give me? Así. Can you give me? Yes. No. Can mm -hmm. you give me information of the product? Yes, I can. I can give you information of the product. ¿Puedes darme información sobre el producto? Sí, sí puedo darte información sobre el producto. Okay. Give me. Me is object pronoun. Okay. Donde recae, recae la acción. Can you give me? Okay. Andreita, estás de rebelde hoy. Yo te vi. Ya ves. Es tu altura. Okay. Estamos subiendo de nivel. Uh -huh. Subiendo de nivel. No, ahí se dan cuenta que ustedes son empoderadas. Ok. Speaking. Ok. Now here we have categories. Pero les voy a mostrar mejor. I'm going to show you the picture better. Ok. Can you see it? Pueden verla. Yes, yes. Okay. Carmen, lo, lo he tapado ahí. No, verdad. Okay. This is called categories. Categories. This is an example. Okay. London, Washington, they are both capital cities. Okay. London, Washington, they are both capital cities. Okay. So uh, we need to, to see this. Um, words and here we have the categories capital cities uh, directions jobs rooms animals vehicles sports vegetables numbers and shops okay so uh, we're going to start in this case with marlon and then we'll go with 
Charlie. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. I think uh, west, it's a direction. Okay. It's a direction. But, okay. We have west. Only west? Mm -hmm. uh, west and north and south. South. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, north, west, and east. Okay. They are? Uh, they are directions. They are directions. Perfect. Don't say a lot of where, where is the other west? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good. Charlie, your turn. And then Damari. Uh, bathroom and Jots. Jots. Bathroom is uh rooms. Okay, bathroom. Here we have a uh, kitchen. Kitchen is a uh, category rooms. Okay, rooms. Okay, perfect. No se nos queda ninguno. Um, no. Okay, perfect. Uh, who's next? Damari. Damari, and then we go with. I'll tell you later. The quality. Okay. A category vegetable. Okay, category vegetables. Okay, let's see. Uh, potatoes. Uh, onions. Mm -hmm. And I don't see more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Poten uh, potatoes and onions. Aquí tenemos el ejemplo. Ah, <laughs> only that. Okay, they are. They are potatoes. Okay. Esta mirada, Marita, está dando las señales de vida. Baseable. <laughs> there are baseable. Ah, ya veo que no capté las indirectas, Damari. No, I'm ah, sorry. <laughs> el corazón está algo distraído. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, here we have um, the other. No, nadie le hecho. De Anita. And then Andrea. Mm, okay. Mm, football. Mm, tennis. And, and golf. Mm -hmm. There. But sports. Ok, ahí no vamos a utilizar both porque both solo significa ah, para dos. Ah, es cierto, ambas. They are, they are, they are, or they are. Sport. Perfect, Anita, good. Ok, Andrea. Ok. Then Cat, Kevin. monkey, and lion, they are animals. They are, thank you. Kevin, and after Kevin, we're having Charlie. Okay, category jobs. Jobs. Okay, carpenter. No carpenter. Si es carpenter. Mm -hmm. eh, secretary. Mm -hmm. Mechanic. Mechanic. Yes. Mm, no veo otro teacher. Okay, chemist. 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 Yes. chemist. Mm -hmm. They are chemical. Ah, okay. They are jobs. Job. Thank you, Charlie. Your turn. And mm -hmm. uh, sit, uh, third and second and fourth. It's category numbers. Okay. 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 Fourth. Second, pero te faltan otros. We have more. Six. Sixth and? And third. Third. Mm -hmm. They are? They are what? They are numbers, category. Numbers. Okay, categories. Thank you. Bea, hello there. Are you ready? We go with shops. Mencionó, ¿verdad? Yes, Bea. Um, Sorry. 
No problem, no problem. Okay. Did you listen uh, to the instructions? No. Yes? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, green grocer, grocer. Okay. Yes. Uh, I guess to each uh, supermarket. Yes. They are. They are both. Shops. They are both. They are both shops. Okay, they are both shops. Perfect. Good. Okay, and we go with Edgar. Edgar, your turn is. Teacher, uh, what is lorry? Lorry. Lorry is como camión, camión de carga. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. Edgar, are you ready with vehicles? Yes. Okay, please go ahead. Okay. Is um, a bus? Yes. And lorry. Lorry, uh huh. Uh, the uh, there are they are about uh, vehicles. Vehicles. Perfect. Thank you, my friends. Okay, that's good. We continue. Yes. What it is green grocery? Ah, uh, green grocery is. Se recuerda que grocery es como se llama dulcería, verdad? No, no groserías, verdad? Golosinas. Okay. Golosinas, ajá. No vamos a decir grosería. <ríe> Siempre se viene eso. No, Green Grocery es... Eh, sí, se, se venden groserías, iba a decir. No, se venden golosinas y todo eso, pero también venden frutas. Ok. So that's it. Un poquito más saludable. Como ustedes. Ok. Continue. In your opinion, is it heritage mandatory in families? We are about to finish. 34 minutes, 34 minutes, and terminamos, my friends. So, in this case, I would like to hear Edgar. Are you ready with your opinion, Edgar? And then Andrea. Yes. Okay, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, it is not mandatory. Okay. It should be, uh -huh, but it should be, because if a family has very little, and they have the best opinion uh, it should be for the children and not for another person they do no not know or to remain in the power of the government ah yes yes good opinion edgar if you have um if you have house or properties and if you don't uh, give or if you don't yes if you don't inherit that property the government is going to take it okay and your family and, and nobody is going to take advantage of that so and that happens Eso sucede. as Edgar said yes the government can take uh, all your properties if you don't like uh, give that to other person legally with documents, definitely. Okay. Thank you, Edgar. Okay. Yes. I, yes. Tengo una duda. Mm, so, Edgar, creo que mencionó una palabra remind. ¿Qué significa esa? Remind es permanecer. Uh, gracias. Okay. Remind. Remind es uh, permanecer. Okay. And quiero ver cuál era la otra parecida. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Remain es permanecer. Remain es recordar, sorry. Como recordar, remind. Recuérdame, remind me. In this sound, re remain, remain es permanecer. Remain, permanecer, remind, recordarme. Okay, se parece un poquito. Next week, we're going to start with phonetics. La otra semana vamos a trabajar con fonética. La fonética quiere decir la pronunciación de ciertas vocales y consonantes, okay? So I'm going to give you these tips, something that I learned in the university. I'm, I'm trying to prepare some material for you so you can have like a more extended uh, idea about how to pronounce English, okay? So- Disculpe, teacher, ¿cuál digo que era? Remain es permanecer. Permanecer, remain. In remind, remain. Eh, recordar. Remind me, recuérdame, okay? Okay, no gracias. Okay, good. Thanks. Okay, and Andreita. Well, 
I think it's not necessary, but most people think about inher inheritance, mm -hmm. uh, their children at home because it's the most necessary for life. Yeah. Yes, and it is good. Um, now it is difficult because housing is really expensive. To buy a house is really expensive. So we have to pay every month. But even if you can have a house, obviously you're not going to give it to the government or to another person. You're going to give it to your kids or your family. That, that's for sure. Eso por seguro, okay? But thank you, Andreita. Yes, that's it. Obviously, if you have it, why not? But it is not an obligation. Okay, and we continue. 30 minutes and we finished. We are going to listening. Vamos a listening, please. I need you to take notes, but now I want you to give me phrases or sentences, okay? Not words, phrases or sentences. Porque si solo damos palabras, es muy, es muy aislado. Yo creo que ya pasamos esa parte de solo decir palabritas. Ahora vamos a decir frases. Phrases or sentences, please. That's good. Okay, I'm going to play it twice. It's one minute. This photo is very old. I think it's from 1910 and it looks very yellow. The man at the back, the first one on the left is my grandfather. His two brothers are Charles and William. William is the one with the open jacket. My grandfather's sister is called Violet. My grandfather was about 22 when this photo was taken. They were outside the family home in Chicago. Two years after this photo, my grandfather got married to a friend of Violet and my father was born about 10 years after this photo. My grandfather worked for 27 years in a cinema about three blocks from this house. He started selling chocolate bars and soda drinks to people watching silent movies and finished as the manager. He was an incredible man. Okay, listen again. This photo is very old. I think it's from 1910 and it looks very yellow. The man at the back, the first one on the left, is my grandfather. His two brothers are Charles and William. William is the one with the open jacket. My grandfather's sister is called Violet. My grandfather was about 22 when this photo was taken. They were outside the family home in Chicago. Two years after this photo, my grandfather got married to a friend of Violet and my father was born about 10 years after this photo. My grandfather worked for 27 years in a cinema about three blocks from this house. He started selling chocolate bars and soda drinks to people watching silent movies and finished as the manager. He was an incredible man. Okay, the first one is going to be Maritza. Okay, Maritza, and then Carito. Tell me, one okay. idea or phrase or sentence? No, phrases, two people watching silent movies. Mm -hmm. Silent movies. Maritza, do you know what are silent movies? What comes to your mind? No. Okay. Silent movies were like Charlie Chaplin's movies in which you just uh, see the movement, but no sound, no voices, not sound. So that's silent movies. Okay. So that's it. And so can you notice that they are talking about a long time ago? Thank you. Okay. Uh, who's next? 
Kevin or Edgar, I don't remember who I told. Me. Ah, Carito. Enojada, me sale. <laughs> okay, uh, Carito, Kevin. Okay. My grandfather worked for teen in the cinema. Okay, worked in the cinema. Okay, let's see just one example. Worked for how many years? 14. Yo le escuché 14. It's not 14, but yes, my 27. father. 27. 27. Yes, 27. Okay. Almost, just what? 13 years more. Solo 13 te faltan. Thank you, Carito. Kevin, and then we go with Diana. Okay, I can hear. William is the one with the open. No recuerdo la otra palabra. Jacket. Jacket. Yes. yes, perfect. With the open jacket. So the, the, there was a picture, a photo. So yeah, he was with the open jacket. Good. Diana and Charlie. Mm, I lis listening, Seria. I listened. I listened. Uh, his two brothers are Charles and William. Perfect. Good. Charlie, what about you? Pues las dos que tenía, se las ganaron. Me las ganaron. Ah, y los tuve que ir dos veces cada una. Eh, no, no tengo una, no tengo ninguna porque tenía Williams, the uh, one with the open jacket, and my grandfather worked for 20 years in the cinema. Ok, 27. Ok, good. Thank you, Charlie. Te vamos a creer. Ok, thank you. And Susie Q and Carmen. I have got two sentences. Uh, good. This photo is very old, and the first man on the left is my grandfather. Perfect. So, si se resistía a decir, I have got. No, la estaba rebelde, ya la usa. Good. Carmen Sira, and then Damari. He is an incredible man. Good. I'm, you're talking about me. Thank you. Me la quitó, me la quitó, me la quitó. Ok, uh, really, da María, muchas veces te van quitando las cosas. No, en serio, eso iba a decir. Y también me quitaron la, my grandfather worked for 27 and my grandfather got married. I don't no know. te cree, Carmen, dice. Ok, good. <laughs> ok, no problem, eh, da María. Así pasa con nuestra vida. No, pero my grandfather got married. I don't know. Yes, got married, married. Violet. To a violet. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Se casó con un color. Yes, it's it with a person. Okay, with violet. Good. Got married, violet. Okay, thank you. Andreita and Marlon. Any other sentence or idea? Uh, family home in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Family home in Chicago. Es una frase, no es una oración, but it's good. Thank you. The chicken girl. Marlon. Okay. Uh, of course, I have like two phrases. Uh, this photo is very old. I think it's from 1910 and it looks very yellow. Okay. And my father was about 22 when this photo was taken. They were outside. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, good. Maro, what comes to your mind when you listen this uh, this for, photograph is very yellow or looks very yellow. What do you uh, think? Um, well, uh, um, when a picture looks very yellow, it's when the color is going or because because it's very old. Like, oh, like yes, it's said. very old. Mm -hmm, that happens. Okay, that's it. Good. It's a good reference. Can you see? It is like a metaphor. Okay. Well, similar to a matter of ni tanto, but yeah. Good. Thank you, Marlon. Yeah. Uh, do you have any other idea to continue? I can hear you. I know, ya me la quité en serio. Ah, mira, ve, mira, ve. This photo is very old. Ajá, la acabas de escribir. No. No problem. Relax. Yeah, that happens. But, eh. Uh, good, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. Here we have uh, this, and we're going to listen again. It's just one minute, okay? 
let's listen. This photo is very old. I think it's from 1910 and it looks very yellow. The man at the back, the first one on the left, is my grandfather. His two brothers are Charles and William. William is the one with the open jacket. My grandfather's sister is called Violet. My grandfather was about 22 when this photo was taken. They were outside the family home in Chicago. Two years after this photo, my grandfather got married to a friend of Violet and my father was born about 10 years after this photo. My grandfather worked for 27 years in a cinema about three blocks from this house. He started selling chocolate bars and soda drinks to people watching silent movies and finished as the manager. He was an incredible man. Ok, good. Solo que me comí una palabra que es about. Este sí no me dije que ni hambre. Ok. Ok, so good. Thank you. Can you notice? This is a very simple, but it is important to, when the listening, it's about the past, the present, and there are some dates, hay fechas, quantities, names. So that's part of the comprehension that you are developing. Van desarrollando más comprensión ustedes con respecto a eso. And I like that. That's why I present you this kind of listenings. So you can identify different types of information. Okay. And we're, we go with the conversations. Here we have three short conversations. I'm going to send it uh, to the WhatsApp group. 19 minutes and we finished. ¿Verdad? Solo 19 minutos y ya nos vamos ya a la cama. Ok, so I'm going to give you these uh, conversations in order. Ok, remember the first one that you're going to see in the WhatsApp group. Uh, it's number one and so on. Ok. Let me check. That's number one. Number two and the last one, number three. As you notice, we are checking short conversations. Estamos eh, revisando conversaciones cortas, okay? So eh, take a look at, at this and I'm going to form the the groups. Okay, so, but before this, I'm going to present a uh, number one. If you have, okay, uh, this is when you are saying goodbye. Cuando ya están sacudiéndose a la gente, ya no quieren hablar con, con ellos. So, ya para zafarse. Okay, you are A, B. I need you to take a look at this and tell me if you find a new word. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Har harsh? Harsh is como duro. That's hard. That's harsh. There are like uh, synonyms. Mm -hmm. Don't be no say. No say. Uh -huh. No see. No see. No. Mm -hmm. Porque no see es ruidoso. No. Uh -huh. uh, no see. Es como se llama curioso. Curious. Mm -hmm. Rush. Eh, ¿Dónde está? What? A or B. Ah, rush. Apurar. Mm -hmm. um, there is a movie that is called Rush Hour from Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. Uh, una pareja explosiva. But in English is Rush Hour. Rush hour significa la hora pico, la hora donde está más apurado todo. Entonces, eh, rush siempre es apurarse. I'm going in a rush, voy apurado. Como se refieren o apurar a alguien, mm -hmm. rush. Como hurry. Sí, como hurry. Como hurry up. Mm -hmm. Hurry, hurry up. Similar. That's it. Um, any other? Harsh, harsh. Yes, hard significa duro. Ah, that's hard. Ah, es duro. Eso, uh -huh. eso es pesado, duro. Okay. Okay, I guess you have, uh, you know, all these words. Let's see. Uh, Mick. Converse. Yes? Mick. Eh, sería 
en la número uno, la número uno que mandó. Yes. Toda la frase number eight de, de, de la letter eight es I am I am very sorry, but I must go. ¿Cómo se traduce toda esa frase? I'm sorry, but I have to go. Correcto. Ajá. No, eh, no, no, no es esa, no es esa. One okay. moment. Ok, ok, vamos a la siguiente, quizás es esta. No, la siguiente. Ok. Esa sería, la última A. Ok, es similar. Eh. En la primera dice, I have to go, yo tengo que irme. No, pero... Yeah, yes, 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 Charlie, relajado, tranquilo. <risa> And must significa yo debo irme. Hay una diferencia, ¿ok? I have to go o I've got to go. Como dice Susi con su flow. I've got to go. Tengo que irme. Pero I must go. Debo irme. Es un poco más tranquilo. ¿Ok? Y el I, I am very sorry. En esa lo misma? siento. Lo siento mucho. Eso significa. Ah, sí. Mm -hmm. Lo yes. siento. Uh, so it sorry. happens when, for example, uh, one of your... Let's imagine that you're visiting a funeral. And you go and you say uh, to, to maybe to your friend or, or any other person, you can say, I'm very sorry for your loss. Eh, lo siento mucho por tu pérdida, ¿ok? O oh, I'm very sorry. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Entonces, oh, se refiere también a lo siento. Excuse me significa disculpe. Por ejemplo, Susie puede decir, ah, excuse me, where is the bathroom? Excuse me, where can I go to, to buy chocolates, ¿ok? Okay. Es la diferencia. Excuse me es discúlpeme, pero I'm sorry es lo siento. Ah, okay. Teacher, okay. pero yo, yo he notado, no sé si solo yo, pero a veces sí tratamos de traducir. Uy, además nos confundimos. Yo, por, por ejemplo, yo me confundo si estoy queriendo traducir todo así como dice. ¿va? Quizás lo ideal es que uno capte la idea tal vez. Yes, uh, yes, that, 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 that's the key. Es la, la clave. Captar una, la idea, ¿verdad? Es bueno también saber el vocabulario. Definitely. Yes, you should. Sí, definitivamente. Porque yo esa frase nunca ah, la había ah, leído. Must, Así yes. como tal, nunca la había leído. Yes, yes. Uh, lo que pasa, lo que pasa, uh, there's something that is called acquisition. La adquisición del lenguaje es cuando ustedes ya no están viendo what's the rush. No, what's the rush. I'll talk to you later. Entonces, sí leen toda la frase, pero su cerebro ya no está diciendo I talk, no la está traduciendo. Ustedes yo siento que ya están pasando esa etapa. Ya ven la frase y ya captan la idea. Y aunque no la sepan al 100%, la saben un 90, 80% y continúa. ¿Ya? Por eso que si se dan cuenta, now you, you can notice that you, you are more fluent. Ya son más fluidos para hablar. ¿Ok? Y lo que dice eso sí es cierto. Ok. So, any other question? No, no sé. Mm -hmm. No see, mm -hmm. no, no see. see. Yes, que les había dicho, no see es curioso. Curioso, curious, yes, curious, curious. Thank you, Danita. Dana juega. Ok, let's go to the breakout rooms. 13 minutos. Le voy a dar poco tiempo. Ok, let's practice. I'm sorry. Let's go. Hola, Damari, te tocó conmigo. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for you. Ah, ni te escuché, mira. Ve. A... Ok, it's a better. Ajá, ah, ah, it's a better. Ajá, ah, sí, te creo. Ok, let's see. Eh, I start or okay. you start? Uh, you, you start. Ok, I'm letter A, you're letter B. It was nice talking to you. Why are you taking tricking to rush my me no why are you 
trying try. to rush, trying to rush me off the phone. I really have to go. Why? I still want want to talk to you. Wanted, wanted to talk to you. I wanted, have wanted. Wanted. Todo lo que termina en T y el verbo regular es ID. Yes, teacher. Okay. I know, but I... I for ah, you the, forgot it. Ah, forget forget it. That. Relax, relax. Okay. <laughs> I have things to do. Like, like what? Like what? Don't be noisy. I am not. I just want to know. Well, it's really none of your business. That's harsh. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Fine. Si te das cuenta, aquí bien pesadito salió. It's really mm -hmm. none of your business. Se peló. None. Es como no tengo negocios o como. Mm -hmm. It's really none. Eh, es como. Es como no nada, te nada. Non significa ninguno. Mm -hmm. O nada. Ajá, entonces, eh, no es nada que te interese. You don't can. You don't can. That's it. Okay, you are letter A, I'm letter B. Okay. It was nice talking to you. Why are you trying to rush me off the phone? I really have to go. Why? I still wanted to talk to you. I have things to do. Like what? Don't be nosy. Nosy. Mm -hmm. Nosy. Okay, I'm not. I just want to know. Well, it is really known of your business. That's harsh. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Fine. Okay. I start. I'm letter A. I've enjoyed conversing with you. Is there a reason why you're trying trying to get off the phone so fast? I've got to go. I wasn't done talking to you. I have to do some things. And besides, it's not polite to be noisy. I am not, mm, I am not being, being, being. being, I am not being no, no, see, I'm just asking. I really don't think it's any of your business. That's not nice. I apologize, but I'm getting off the phone now. Okay. Esa está, esa está rara si estuviera platicando, no entendiera nada. Okay, ¿por qué? ¿Qué frases? Es que está más contractada uh, y, y hay como frases nuevas. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero, but that's the I... objective. Es el objetivo. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. okay. ok, teacher. Uh, your letter A, I'm letter B. Uh, mi letter A. A, now. yes. Uh -huh. Ok. I've, I've, I've enjoyed conversing with you. Is there any reason why you're trying to get off the phone so fast? I've got to do, I've got to go. Mm -hmm. I wasn't done talking to you. I have. I have to do some, I have to do some things and besides, decide, besides it is not polite to be nosy, nosy. Nosy, mm -hmm. I'm not being nosy. I'm just asking. I really don't think it, think is any of your business. That's not nice. I apologize. I apologize. Ah, okay. I apologize. I'm sorry, teacher. La conexión dice sí, que, que no. Está fallando, sí. Okay. Okay. You. ¿Dónde va? Oh, ah, okay. ya. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. I apologize. I apola. Apologize. Apola. Oh. Okay, Damari, La, I, I apologize. Yes. I, apol I apologize. Apologize, apologize. Apologize. Yes. ¿Qué es eso, teacher? Eh, me disculpo. 
es un verbo, Imagínate. disculpar, disculpar. Cuando eh, te, te sientes mal, hay apologize. Jais, ¿verdad? Con J. Apologize, Jais. yes. La otra semana okay. vamos a ver eso, los verbos que terminan en Z y todo eso. Vamos a ver para que ustedes tengan ya una noción de cómo okay. hacerlo. Uh -huh. okay. Hey, I like it. ok, perfecto. Uh, vamos a la última, solo lo the vamos end, a hacer. The end, yes. Yes, la última, solo una vez la vamos a hacer. Ok. I talk to you later. What's the rush? Rush. Mm -hmm. I have to What's get off. Rush? I have to get off the phone now. I'm not ready to get off the phone with you. There are no other things I need to, to care of, to take care of. What it is that you need to do? Please don't be nosy. I'm not, ay, ese se me olvida. I'm not being nosy. Mm -hmm. It's just a question. You don't need to worry about that. That was meant to say. Mean. Mm -hmm. Fue malvado, fue malo, fue malo decirlo. Mm -hmm. Mean. Mm -hmm. I'm very sorry, but I must go. I guess. I guess. Ok, good. Sí, creo que están viendo, estamos viendo palabras nue nuevas, ¿verdad? Pero todo eso es importante. It's good. O sea que si yes, vemos teacher. lo mismo, se van a aburrir. Thank you, coach. It's a pleasure. <laughs> In a minute. Ajá, Andreita. Everything okay? Yes, everything okay. Okay, I guess you saw, creo que vieron palabras nuevas, ¿verdad? Okay. Para repasar, uh, para ir terminando de ahí, vamos con, uh, nos faltan pocos minutos. In your opinion, Bea, are you ready with your opinion? Is inheritance mandatory? Mm. I think it's not mandatory. Okay. But uh, in my case, in my case, I have a inheritance. Uh, yes, because my mother uh, died uh, one years ago. Mm -hmm. And gave you something. Mm -hmm. uh, a property. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Hey, how many brothers do you have? How many siblings do you have, brothers? Uh, two. Okay, that's fine. But, well, uh, thank you, Kat. It's not complicated. With uh, yes, I was when well, we were talking to Carmen about that. That yes, it is sometimes it is complicated. Thank you, Jolie. Eh, vea, 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 vea. Susie, es que no sé por qué me Susie, mm -hmm, you have time. Okay. Uh, I consider that none because everyone will give what they want and to whom they want without obligation. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Everybody uh, should uh, earn their own money with sacrifice, with, with all things that they have, uh, they want to have. Okay. Thank you, Susie. And Kevin, what about you? Okay, in my opinion, I think it is not mandatory, but it is necessary. Uh, oh. Because someone has to inherit what the other person has. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Very good point. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Um, nariz se dice nose. Entonces solo vamos a agregar la I, no see. ¿Ok? Creo que esa palabra le, le dio dificultades, ¿verdad? No see. Como nose, nariz, solo que la I, no see, no see. Curioso, como dice Dianita. ¿Ok? If you notice, this is a different, these are different forms to say goodbye in a, a hard way, una forma muy pesadita, si se dieron cuenta. Había frases como que saluda, date. ¿verdad? Sí, porque insistía la otra persona yes, en quedarse. la otra persona. Ajá. Así es el amor. Ok. So, uh, here we have this. 
estas conversaciones me van a servir. Ah, ok, eso sí, that's good to know. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. En esta conversación, en la mm -hmm. letter 8, ya la última. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? A apologize. Esa apologize es, eh, me disculpo. Apologize. Eh, la otra semana vamos a ver eh, las palabras que terminan con Z. Apologize, realize, uh -huh, dramatize. Entonces, todas esas. Es parte de la fonética que les quiero empezar a enseñar a ustedes. Ok, so, en este caso, I apologize, es un verbo. Uh -huh. Eh, apologies es disculpas, pero como sustantivo, creo que es una canción de Nirvana, All Apologies, creo, parece que está en el unplug. De Timbaland también. Mm, One don't... Republic, One Republic, One Republic. not Timbaland. One Republic. Yes. Ah, ah, sorry. Yeah. Ok, good. <laughs> Esta gente, ok. And esta parte creo que es un poco pesada. I really don't think it's any of your business. Como que no te importa, ¿verdad? No te incumbe. Eso significa, I really don't think it's any of your business. Por eso les estoy dando también eh, la, la, las conversaciones para que les queden ustedes. Por si quieren ver alguna de estas frases, como Susi, que algunos les va a decir adiós. Eh, Andreita, ¿cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? How do you pronounce this? No, sí. No, sí. Yes. Curioso. Ok. Min. Min, ya les había dicho. Carmen, ¿qué significa min? Se lo dije el curso pasado. I don't remember, teacher. Ok, no problem. The leader. Mean significa malvado o malo. Ok. Mean. También significa, significa. O sea, what do you mean? What's the meaning of? Pero también es un adjetivo que significa, that was mean to say. Eso fue malo. Como lo dijiste. O fue malo. Ok. Uh, Okay, uh, we are finishing. I'm going to check the attendance list in 30 seconds, okay? And Mercedes, no. Andreita, hello. Hi. Charlie, thank you. Here. Good. Carmen. Present. Good. Carito. Present. Good. Maritza. I'm here. Nice. Uh, Danita. Good night. Good night. Edgar. Present. Okay, Damari. Present. Good. Kevin. Present, teacher. Marlon, thanks. Present. Good. Susie. Present. Jolie. Yeah. Vea, 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 vea. Eh, Charlie, there, wa, uh, there was Present. no time, no hubo tiempo para la canción. Charlie, tomorrow your song and Carmen, okay? Charlie, please. Mañana okay. lo hacemos porque no, no salió la plática un poquito extensa. Charlie, nos quedamos. We, we have uh, the, the session. Ok. The rest, good night. See you tomorrow. Sure. Eh, ¿Cómo es la metodología para lo de la canción? ¿Usted nos va a decir quién va a pasar o cómo? Eh, yo mandé un listado en la captura de pantalla. Una, bueno, un listado ah, cómo lo... van las sesiones. Entonces, ah. tienes la sesión y te toca el siguiente día. Ok. Ah, ah ok. Por ejemplo, lo que lo que pasa es que yo ingresé tarde al grupo, entonces no, no es, tú, usted dice en el, en el WhatsApp. ¿En el WhatsApp del grupo? Ah, sí. es que yo entré tarde, por eso no me di cuenta, perdón. Vaya, ahorita lo voy a volver a mandar al grupo, pero ya estás en el grupo, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Ajá, ya, entonces, ya eh, por ejemplo, ayer le tocaba a Andrea la, la, la sesión. Perdón, te toca el propio día, ¿verdad? Pero hoy nos atrasamos, perdón. Andrea le tocó ayer la sesión y le tocaba su canción. Hoy Charlie le toca la sesión y su canción, pero hoy nos hemos atrasado. A Carmencita le toca mañana la sesión y mañana va con su canción. O sea, el día que te sesión, toca la sesión. Sesión son 10 minutos después de la clase. Yes. Okay. ok, thank you. Bye, bye. Bye. Yes. Goodbye, chicken. Girl. Bye, carito. Leader. Ok, eh, Charlie, tell me. Do you want to talk about something in specific, uh, any topic that you would like to talk? Or do you have doubts, tiene dudas? Um, do you have some questions about vocabulary, yeah. sentences? Uh, today we have problem with the, the conversation. Okay, Let, let's practice, with, yes. Yes, with... Okay, we have three conversations. Let's see. We have number one. 
Do you, sí, ahorita uh, los estoy viendo, quiero ver. Uh, let's start with number one. Uh, sería number two. Oh, okay. Let's number go. two. Yeah. Letter eight and really no. No, no es esta. Or oh, number three. Quiero ver number three, number three. Number three, number three. Aquí la estoy poniendo en la pantalla por si ah, quieres. Ah, le había dado mucho zoom. Ya, ya le encontré. Uh -huh. It's, I really, I really don't think. Think. Yeah. Think. I really don't think it's uh, any. It's, it's any. Pero esto se pronuncia una. ¿Cómo sería pronunciada de una, de una sola vez? I really don't think it's any of your business. I really uh, don't. Okay. I really don't think it's any of your business. Ajá, es que no encontraba dónde hacerle la pausa. Entonces, eh, ah, la es, dos es, veces, es, la dos puede, veces. Puede decir, que, lo puede, puede decirlo de dos maneras. I really don't think it's any of your business. Or I really don't think it's any of your business. Si te das cuenta, estas frases nos ayudan como que, como, como que son tipo trabalenguas. Exacto. Entonces, entonces van, uh -huh. yo trataba de, le, trataba de leerlas así un poco... Eh, de corrido, un poco fluido, pero no encontraba en qué momento pausarlo, porque este, no le encontraba sentido en sí a la, a la oración para tener una idea de en qué momento hacer la, hacer la pausa, uh -huh. porque eh, lo único que se encontraba era el tinit, eh, I don't, I don't, eh, hasta el I don't, uh -huh. I really don't, Ahí me quedaba, pero sabía o algo me decía de que no era en esa parte la, la pausa, a no ser que usted me diga, sí, no hay ningún problema. Sí, ah, lo sí. que pasa, Charlie, es que es esto. Estas eh, son oraciones coordinadas y subordinadas. Entonces, aquí, esta es una, una pequeña oración. Aquí te explico. La primera, ¿verdad? Correcto. Y aquí está la otra. Puedes hacerlo. I really don't think... It's any of your business. Pero es una pausa mínima, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Entonces, ese era la, 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 al momento de leerla, cuando las estaba, cuando recién las envió y las estaba analizando, eh, identifiqué eso, en qué momento voy a hacer la pausa, en qué momento uh -huh. voy a hacer la pausa, para cuando ya entrara Carmen, que me ha tocado las tres veces con ella, lo cual agradezco porque es bien chivo trabajar con ella. Eh, Entonces, sí, fíjate que ahorita estamos de manera aleatoria. Después yo lo voy a poner en orden. No, pero Carmen tiene muy buena pronunciación y es muy, es muy amable ella, Carmen. Sí, es bastante amable, bastante amable. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, estaba pensando en qué momento hacerle la pausa, porque en mi opinión, el inglés a veces es como que de pausa. Entonces, dependiendo de, así como nosotros que estamos iniciando, pues que, yes. nos, que nos atolondren con palabras así rápido, rápido, rápido. Oye, es bastante difícil. Hace poco tuvimos una experiencia en el colegio con unos estadounidenses que llegaron sí, ahí estaba escuchándolo en gran parte me, 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 me quedaba no es como en el listening que nos pone, como va sí. más pausado más va, pausado y, y más pronunciado, así como que lleva énfasis ¿ajá? Eh, eh, exacto, entonces eh, presta más atención uno quería que trasladar esa, esa misma noción a Carmen al momento de, de de yo leer, porque lo hacemos con ella, ella, ella lee, primero lee A, ah, solo ella, y luego yo leo el A, ah. entonces sí. así lo vamos turnando, a manera que cuando nos consulten, nos pregunten, ambos tenemos la pronunciación de ambas, claro. de ambos lados de la conversación, correcto, entonces, esa era la duda, porque, como le repito, lo de la pausa era lo que en ocasiones... Bye, Practiquemos esto ahorita, practiquemos estas pausas. Eh, te voy a okay. subrayar hasta dónde tenés que practicar en las oraciones largas. Aunque hayan, aunque hayan puntos, ¿verdad? No aunque importa. haya comas, correcto. No importa, pero hay pausas que eh, son cortas, ¿verdad? Entonces, si te das cuenta, en el audio habían pausas, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero no se tardaban mucho, había unas que eran más largas porque eran puntos. Uh -huh.
Ok. Tú puedes decir, ¿verdad? Eh, comencemos con la, con la última. I really don't think it's any of your business. Si te, si te dice cuenta, fue medio segundo. Medio, I medio really segundo. don't think it's any of your business. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. I really I don't not, think. Uh -huh. I really don't think it's any of your business. Yeah, good. Excellent. Ah, ok, ok. Ya, ya, ya cambia la cosa. Ya cambia la cosa. Uh -huh. I'm, not, I'm not being. Esa, ¿Cómo sería esa frase? Esa bean, letra. Bin. Bin. Co como frijol. Porque, bean. Ah, bien, exacto, porque la primera vez que se la leía a Carmen, creo, creo y estoy convencido que se lo dije begin. Yo. Ah, ya, begin, sí, pero es un ah, verbo. Ahí, ajá. Exacto. Pero entonces, a, a ella se lo escuchaste bin o begin. Bin, bin, bin. A ella se lo escuché bin. Ajá. Hay no bin, no it's. Nosy, como nariz. Nosy. Uh -huh. I am not being noisy. I'm, I am just asking. Ok, otra vez. Again, please. I'm not being nosy. I'm just asking. I'm not being noisy. I'm just asking. Ok, good. Vamos con la siguiente. I have to do something. And decide it's not polite to be noisy. Nosy, nosy. Mm -hmm. Read it again. again ah, okay, okay. Ya, ya te das cuenta to... que se te escucha bien. Hasta vos te entendés, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ah, ya I have to do some, something. And besides, it's not polite to be noisy. Mm -hmm. Good. Vamos con la otra. The first. No. Is, there... Is there a reason why you're trying to get off? The phone so fast. So fast. Is Again. there a reason? Is there a reason why you're trying to get off the phone so fast? Ah. Mm -hmm. Ya cambia. Okay. <laughs> Hoy sí ya cambia. Hoy sí ya le entendí. Y con esto sí. lo vas practicando y practicando y después te vas a dar cuenta que lo vas a decir. Is there a reason why you're trying to get off the phone so fast? Después lo vas a lograr decir. Pero las pausas te ayudan como a ubicarte y todo eso. Ya. Es correcto, correcto. Vaya. Vamos Gracias. a probar otras. Vamos a probar otra. Vamos a ver. Bien. Ya mm, dice. Vaya. Vamos con. Uh -huh. Why are you trying to rush me off the phone? No, ya ves cómo, cómo se te escucha. Bien se te escucha. Pero es esa pausa mínima. Uh -huh. Why are you trying to rush me off the phone? Y a veces la pausa ni se nota. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver Correcto. otra vez. Why are, why, why are you, why are you trying, trying, trying to rush me off the phone? Uh -huh. Good. Vamos well, it, well, it's really non. It's really non. Mm -hmm. It's really non. Así es. Non, it's really non. Not. not. Well, it's really non of your business. Ok, vamos ahora acá. I'm sorry, but I, I have to go. Yes, excellent. Mm -hmm. Entonces, si te das cuenta... Eh, Puedes escuchar a cualquiera, a Carito, lo que sea. Eh, yo normalmente trato de que vayan pausados y no tanto rápido, rápido, porque lo correcto, importante correcto. es que pronuncien bien, seguros, y la velocidad poco a poco la van a desarrollar. Poco a poco la van a desarrollar. Ok. Eh, ok. Vamos con la última, Charlie, aprovechando el tiempo, ya que perdimos un poquito explicándole a... Um, Ok. Um, mm -hmm. Quiero ver. Ok. Esa sería. Ok, vamos con la siguiente. Ok. I am not. 
I am not ready to get off the phone with you. Good. Next. There are there are there are other things I need to take care of. Good. The last one. I I not being being to being noisy. Nosy. I, nosy. I'm paying noise. I just a question. It's mm -hmm. it's Otra just vez. a question. I'm not being I, nosy. I'm just it's I'm, just a question. Mm -hmm. I'm not being noisy. It's just a question. Mm -hmm. Ya ves. Ahora que ya descubriste esto de las pausas, aplícalo. Um, si te das cuenta a todo el grupo y yo no tengo duda que también has tenido compañeros así bien 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 buena onda. Se trata de practicar, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo revisar las pausas y cuando veas tanta letra así, no 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 te no te pongas tenso ni digas como no, solo hay que identificar. Poco a poco ya lo vas a ir haciendo inconscientemente, ya va a ser parte de tu lógica y vas a mejorar todavía más, Charlie. Tener buen okay. inglés, tener vocabulario, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ir practicando más para extenderlo un poquito más, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Terminamos acá, Charlie, entonces, un gusto, te me cuidas. Good okay. night. Good night.